C4. C4, D5. D4, C5. Hey everybody, today I'm showing you about the coolest chessboard that I've ever covered. It's the Chestnut Evo. Now, I've covered the Chestnut Air and the Chestnut Pro. Those are great chessboards with a smart piece recognition and they connect your leeches and chess.com account. This is a next level chessboard. It has a 12.3 inch display. It has an eight core Android system. It has its own NPU neural processing unit and it has Mario Chess as its AI and you can customize it. So let's see what's inside. Just like the other chestnut boards, this also has a smart piece recognition. You can see the pieces are a little bit different. You also get this cable, which is a standard USB-C cable. I've measured the pieces. Just to get a better idea, oh, this is the main unit. It's a gorgeous display. It's, it's a pretty unique chessboard. I've never seen actually anything like this. I've seen the standard computers that have neural processing units and they let you play with AI, but this is the whole next level. It's integrated in the chessboard. See where the ports are. The guys at Chestnut were kind enough to send this unit to review, and I have to say, out of all the other boards that I've tested so far, different brands, this one is the one that has me excited the most. As it was explained to me, this has Lila Chess Zero integrated into it, and you can. I'm gonna test this board now. Let's see how it actually works. As far as the size, from all the way here to here, about 52 centimeters here to here, and about 34 centimeters. If I were to compare this to Chestnut Air, so this is like your Chestnut Air, and then you have this 12.3 inch tablet, which runs Android, it has eight cores here. So this is the Chestnut Air, as you can see, very comparable in size. To this section of the board but that section you have the android tablet so it's a very innovative product in that sense and i wonder why we haven't seen more of this i am assuming that we will in the future this is the next level chessboard that not only has a smart piece recognition it has also its own platform that you can use to customize your ai engine and play how you like so now i'm just going to turn this on Now I've started this, this button here and I haven't removed this screen protector here and I usually don't because it keeps the fingerprints away and I don't have to, I can read it just fine, but you can actually remove this and it's actually a beautiful display as you can see. I can just press this button and unlock this Android. I can play online for instance. I can, let's just play against the chess engine. So I'm playing against Maya, as you can see, I can also, I can also play against the Stockfish or Lila Chess Zero. Let's go with Lila Chess Zero. I'm gonna go with the standard chess and let's go unlimited. So you get voice as well and also colorful. Of all the chess boards that I've tested, this has got to be the coolest one yet because of the fact that everything is integrated here. So we're playing a Petrov. Try this, let's see. Computer is not gonna fall for tricks anyway. Here I can get a hint and it's shown there. It's a very cool educational tool if you're just getting it started. 
or if you're trying a new opening and you want to force this not fall for tricks or you don't know what to do you see a new position a new move in the line that you haven't studied you can get a hint here When I pick this piece, it shows all the legal moves and all the captures. F2, F4. Let's get him up here. F1, D3. It's not really that thick. So it's pretty compact. The board itself is pretty compact. Just have this extra unit here. The neat thing about it is that I don't have to actually look at my tablet or a smartphone to play with this I can just use that display now for chess 960 G2, G4. it is going to ask me to put the pieces there so when I move the pieces to the correct position they turn off to give me an idea that I'm doing it right you can see here 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 now i can play the game e2 e3 d2 d4 b2 b3 if i get a hint it will tell me to keep it symmetrical for now C1, let's get a hint here it's gonna play symmetrical because i played all the moves the same C2, C4. Doing the analysis. You can also play an online match on chess.com. The chess. Now, when I stop a game, I can go to my record, I can open it up, continue. So, in order to connect this to your internet, you're going to have to enter your Wi Fi settings. You tap on that, and then you enter your network information and you connect it. Just have to enter your password here and most networks do have a password once you're connected you can go and find all these different engines for instance to try and it just tells you what each of these ai engines are all about you can also download custom engines once you're connected to the internet you can also go and just try different training programs let's say leeches and i'm gonna try something more advanced exercise wants you to understand the value of each piece that's what you're supposed to do now you have to set up the other exercise you can also play it there so if you don't want to set it up on a display that's fine you can just focus here was the training part it was basic but if you are just getting it started that can be helpful and other platforms are available as well so you can try these other ones can go play an online chess. I usually play against a computer. Now I'm playing against that Lee Chess engine at that level, but it's gonna show it in the board. So it's pretty straightforward. I didn't have to go through multiple apps or multiple steps to set this up. Now you can do the same thing with the Chestnut Air and Chestnut Pro. The difference here is that you don't have to use a smartphone. Your smartphone is essentially here and you can also look at the board so you won't make any mistakes. There's also light to show you where to move your pieces. Let's say I want to castle here.
and now I'm going to be shown where to move the piece pretty straightforward. The Evo is special because unlike many other chess computers and chess boards that have AI and Stockfish and things like that, and this has a Stockfish as well and Maya, is that you're going to be able to actually train your engine. So there's going to be a cost for that because of the computing power you need to train the AI. But what's neat is you can actually import games and you can come up with custom engines. So if you are a chess engine researcher or just interested in developing custom engines, you will be able to do that and go to the career mode and have a more personalized experience playing as full piece recognition. This board uses color coding, so it actually gives you feedback on the quality of moves that you're making. As I try to set the board up, it gives me feedback with these lights. So I put the queen here, now I'm ready. So I assume the solution is this. You can see it gives me feedback, that's the right solution. And then, and that's made, so that's done. So if I pick something up, the board automatically realizes this is actually pretty convenient. I can just set up a position without having to worry about doing it manually one by one with a small board on my smartphone. So I can just do it right here. And then I can choose from the Stockfish engine, Maya engine. Now these guys are working on making Maya version here as strong as possible, but you can always go with the Stockfish, which is pretty strong for most people. Obviously, I'm not good enough to actually beat the computer giving out two pawns, but you get the point. It's very easy to set up. It's just a couple of seconds to set up a new position. When I tap on setting, I can turn the LEDs off if you find them distracting, for instance. You can also turn the sound off. You can allow take back. So I can, for instance, go take the move back and go with something better. Now if I turn the LED on, now it's gonna show the lights again. H7, H6. I'm now just creating a new profile. I'm just gonna give it my, the name of my site. And now I can play. If you wanna see genuine improvement and you wanna track everything, that will help. Here's the part that I'm most excited about is the chess engine section, which you can go and download these engines so i download this engine and when you try a bot match you can then access this now and play against this you just have to change the weight of the engine that's the weight section set up an engine from your game record for instance you're going to need 20 games as they say so here's what's going to happen i'm going to go now to the bot match i want to change the time but i do want to change the weight which is this engine that i just downloaded and you can see it here. So these are the engines. These two I downloaded. This is the last one. So a King's Gambit, my e favorite variation e coming. E5, F4. The D7, Dodo variation. D5. Actually, I think the engine moved to this. F8, D6. I haven't done any development. This is a very lousy opening, so you want to be careful. This variation is very hard to play as you're already in trouble after move three or four with white. But actually, it works sometimes against humans. I don't think it works against computers, as you can see. F8, E8. Because you're going to have a very hard time developing your pieces. Six before, and that's pretty much game over. I, I, I didn't even play it well, but 
The point is, now I can save this game and add it to my collection. I'm not going to do that because that's going to train the computer the wrong way. I want to play 20 solid games, then I'm paying attention and I'm not on camera, and then add that to training and see how the engine turns out. In case you're wondering, the chess clock is your human versus human mode. You can play chess 960. You can select how the clock is pressed when you make a move or you can require the tapping. And what happens here is you can then play this E2, E4. and it keeps track of E7, the time. Now E7. I have unlimited time here. If I go back here, let's say okay, 60 seconds plus seven seconds increment. Let's try that. Now this now requires me to actually tap E2, my... E4. So it acts E7, like a clock. E5. I have to tap. G1, F3, G8, F6, D2, D4. So the game is over and it gives you feedback with that red color. You can always change settings while you're playing the game. Another interesting thing about these boards, that's the Chestnut Air, which connects to a tablet and this has its own tablet, as I mentioned is that you can actually use the pieces interchangeably. So I can actually put this piece here and just use it to play. D2, D4, E7, F3, I can change this for instance as well. So if you like the old pieces, it seems that they work. Now I don't know if it's on purpose or it just happens but I also were able to use these chess pieces on my Chestnut Pro. So if you like these pieces, you can use them on all your favorite boards. G1, F3. So this is the Chestnut Evo. That's the Chestnut Air. One of my favorite boards that connects to your smartphone. This looks about the same size as this board, except this one has the tablet part. So instead of using a separate device, everything is included in the Chestnut Evo. And you obviously get the AI training your engine and things like that so it's next level the pieces are interchangeable as i showed so you can use these pieces here if you prefer that way i actually am fine with this it's a beautiful board and it matches the board with this you just have to pick it up make sure that it's the bluetooth is connected here then you can go to the app once you connect it's gonna sound a beep so now that the board is connected I can play a game online for instance on Lee Chess I can even play two engines against each other say let's say level 7 with black and then level 8 here with white for instance so now I've set it up let's see this is level 7 that's level 8 So this was the Chestnut Air versus the Chestnut Evo. This is a little bit more convenient because you have everything you need in the board. You don't even need to use a tablet to play. It's pretty fast as far as the setup goes, but that's also very convenient even if you get that one. So this is the Chestnut Pro. It's the bigger version of Chestnut Air. The only major difference is that it's a tournament size board, but everything else works the same way. You get these beautiful pieces Whereas the Chestnut Evo has these smaller pieces. Both of them match the set, the board. So they're not out of place. The pieces perfectly match the board that you're getting. I'm assuming that you should be able to use this. And you can. So I can play and that's not gonna be an issue. Can you replace this? Let's, let's just do that. The pieces are interchangeable. Now, I don't know why anyone would want to actually change the pieces between these two boards, but it's nice to know that that's possible.
as far as everything else the chestnut pro has the same features as the chestnut air it's just a little bit bigger so now i'm gonna play this nova sapphire 2 versus lila chess let's see how it performs
C4, D3. So it's a draw by repetition. Now I used one of those custom engines. So it was an interesting game, but it ended up being a draw. Now that I've saved the game, I can go to my record here and it's all the way to the top. So that's about it. This was the Chestnut Evo, a smart AI chessboard with its own Android tablet attached to the side with smart piece recognition. It also lets you play on Lee Chess and Chess.com. It lets you try training programs to improve your game. It also has the feature that lets you train your own AI engine with your own games. So you can come up with custom programs for it. It has Maya Chess, it has a Stockfish that you can take advantage of to play. You can play against an engine, you can play against your friends. You can also use it as a career mode to have it personalized based on the games that you play in an adaptive mode. For more information, please go to the Kickstarter campaign. I'm gonna link it in the description. I'm also gonna link to their website just in case. So check it out. Thanks for watching.